Welcome to LH Special, and today is the 21 of July 2023. And uh, today we'll be looking at importing CSV into ArcGIS. So uh, we'll be importing point data XYZ into ArcGIS Pro, not the ArcGIS desktop. So we have a point here with point ID and uh, the name of the point and the eastern eastern northern and the height so for this to be accepted in ArcGIS it has to be saved as CSV so you click on save and save as then wherever you want to save it here we are going to save it here and then the format has to be CSV comma delineated so you can really save like that okay so let's get right into the video so you come to your arcgis pro and i want to come to map and then in the map you're coming down on this plus sign which is add data so we see we have add data to the map add data from path but we are interested in adding x y point x y table to points So it's asking for the input table so we click on it to uh, locate where it is so this is inside the work folder and inside the work folder is in Taraba and in Taraba it's safe as Chris plot so it's in CSV so you can see other CSV files so you click OK So once it enters, it's asking you for output class. So this time around, unlike the ArcGIS desktop that you have to bring it in before it's now telling you, okay, put it, you can export it as X, as um, a shapefile or a future class. Here, it already has a field where it's telling you to take it out. All right. And then also um, in ArcGIS Pro, it accepts both whether it's a shapefile or it's a future class. You can put it and it will determine if it's a shapefile. If I put it here, now it's going to be shapefile. If I enter into a database uh, folder, it's going to be a future class. That here accepts all of them. So, uh, and then we are going to just put it as uh, plot. Let's just name it as plot. Because we're going to plot it. All right. So it's asking for the field. So the X field is your eastern and is also your longitude. So the Y field is your northern and also your latitude. Now here we have Z value and which you know Z is Z. But Z can must not at all time be elevation. Z can be noise value. Z can be rainfall, data temperature value and all that. All right. So now it's asking for coordinate system. So uh, the coordinate system this time around, we're going to click on this uh, earth shape here. So this time we're just going to go to uh, the favorite because I've saved them. So it Taraba is in Mina Datsun. Said the Datsun or the horizontal X, Y and the vertical do not match. Please select. Okay, I think they use a WGS coordinate. So I think that's why. So the moment I select, it match. All right, so we say, okay and we're going to click run so once we run it's going to process it and bring it in as already future class not as in actual desktop when it has to be uh, when you import it it's going to be it's going to take time and then bring it out as an event layer then from there you export uh, so it's just like a temporary file then when you export it into a future class or a shape file that's when it's going to uh, become a permanent file. But here from original, it just become a permanent file. So it has finished exporting. And this is the XY point of imported. And then if we right click to check attribute, we'll look at what each of them represent. So to 
So it's so it displaces the coordinate and what each of them. This RD is a building. So they number it in such a way that okay, see building, mocks, church, all of the features that are available within there are shown. So if we zoom on this image, we should be able to do some checks. We should be able to do some checks whether what they say is true or not. This one is the church that is being built inside the office of the Survey General. That's one, but I think it's not showing on this image. It's okay, but basically, this is it. And uh, I'll see in the next video where we'll be plotting those points together on ArcGIS Pro. Don't go anywhere. Stay glued to this channel. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Because I love you.